Hey guys, it's Nima Stacker, and um, well, we are in the uh, the worst uh, crisis the world has known since probably the Second World War. There may be a depression, and the dinosaurs went extinct a long time ago. But though the raw mint has stopped production and is effectively um, paralysed at the moment, um, it's unlikely that it will be extinct in the same way as the dinosaurs. It will come back in a few weeks' time with a new method of working. Uh, it looks like we're going to have social distancing sometime to come in the future, maybe even till next year in 2021. So, in order to cheer you all up, I've come to show you the second of the dinosaur collection from the Royal Mint. It comes with a very snazzy book that uh, attempts to show these dinosaurs from the scientific uh, standpoint, uh, I guess, as differentiated from uh, Barney the Purple Dinosaur kind of presentation. And I think they do that pretty successfully. It's the third of a series of three. We have the Megalosaurus, we've now got the Iguanodon, and uh, I can't recall what the third one will be, but it'll be along again pretty shortly. The one that we've got here is the 50p, the gold 50p. And as usual with these presentations, I just want to show you the COA so that you can get an idea of what the mintage is. The mintage for gold 50ps is totally critical. It seems that uh, when a gold 50p is at 1,000 or 1,500, then um, resale values can potentially, after a while, get a little bit dodgy. 600 is uh, kind of reasonable to the normal upper limit, but this one is only 350 in this presentation and an extra 10 uh, in an unknown presentation. Um, the first one, seemed uh, very popular, the Megalosaurus. It's sold out of the Royal Mint. Uh, I think this one is already probably sold out, although I haven't checked, and I will do. Uh, but the numbers available for these dinosaurs are pretty small. Uh, quite a number of people I know have bought them. Uh, I've had a lot of them in for submission to NGC, so there will be quite a few of these in for grading. And the results that I've had back so far on the first one the results have been pretty good and uh, I think pretty much every one of them that I've graded so far for people uh, through NGC has been a 70, which is pretty good. The Iguanodon, uh, being a lizard-like creature, does not have the, uh, um, I said hairy, does not have the hairy disposition of the Megalosaurus. I don't think it really is hair. I think it's really sort of something else in terms of the uh, the skin, but it kind of looks hairy on the Megalosaurus, and I'll show you in a moment the uh, the Megalosaurus so that you can compare the two, and I'll also show you the silver um, Iguanodon as well, and give you a reminder how that looks. Um, so, pretty nice coin, very low mintage, and um, I don't know how well that'll do immediately on the secondary market, but there's a good history of that kind of mintage 50p doing very well. It's April and the code for April is NHS Heroes so that we think about these wonderful, wonderful people all the time who are helping so much to bring our life back to normal. It's probably true to say that most people who buy one of these coins or collect these coins will be collecting the silver version of the coin, not the gold. As well as being significantly cheaper, it's much more likely to be given as a gift. So uh, even though there are quite a lot more of these silver coins minted, it's pretty usual that not that many of them end up floating around the secondary market after a while because they've uh, quite often been given to children or members of the family. And they do come up, but they're often quite good buys in the, uh, the silver version. There are two versions minted in silver for collectors. There's uh, this version you're seeing here, which is the plain silver proof version. And uh, that has a lower mintage. Um, the mintage of this coin is 3000 coins. And there was also a Megalodon version of this, which was also 3000. The one that is the colorized 
gold, uh, colorized silver 50p has a mintage of about, I think, 7,000 from memory. So there's a lot more of the colorized ones which are likely to be given as presents compared to the plain silver proof. And it may be that more collectors will try and buy the plain silver proof simply because of the lower mintage. Uh, and there's a lot of people who really dislike the colorized coins. So that may be another reason for buying this particular version. I think uh, a lot of people do buy both and hedge their bets, but um, it's, it's nice. I mean, there's a lot of 50p collectors. 50p collecting seems to be a little bit more widespread than pretty much every other common denomination at the Royal Mint. Um, there's a Check Your Change website that shows circulation 50ps and the relative rarity of them. But I like this. I like the set. And uh, I got the gold Megalodon for myself. I haven't got the gold Iguanodon at the moment, uh, although I might get one uh, in future in the secondary market potentially. But um, I think it's a nice coin and uh, I think a lot of people will be pleased to have these in their collections. I'm not sure at the moment when the number three coin is going to come out because there have been delays in a number of Royal Mint coins. For example, the second in the series of the music coins was delayed for a few months until after the Corona crisis is hopefully over. But um, you never know with the Royal Mint. Somehow it seems kind of inappropriate doing too many releases at a time when so many people are having so much uh, trouble and uh, suffering so much. Here is a comparison with the, uh, in quotes, hairy, the hairy version, the first one, the Megalosaurus. Uh, I think the Megalosaurus maybe looks a little bit cuter than the Iguanodon, but uh, that's one of the gold Megalosaurus coins. And then here's the, uh, the, the hairless lizard-like Iguanodon as well. So uh, I hope you like that. A little bit of break from uh, social distancing and uh, isolation and hope you're all keeping safe and exercising well and uh, finding enough toilet rolls and other um, hand sanitizer and things that you need to uh, make life worthwhile over this really crazy period. <laughs>